Nothing beats the 9 caliber when it comes to self-defense. The stopping power, recoil management, and availability make it a more popular pistol than the 380 ACP. However, the 380 APC pistol, or the pocket rocket, has been gaining traction in the US market over the last decade as a solid alternative to the 9mm Luger. Both calibers are 9mm in diameter, only the 9mm Luger is 19mm high, while the 380 is 17mm high. The 9mm is arguably more powerful and cheaper than the 380, which has always been more popular in Europe than in the United States. We've listed the top 5 380 pistols and their key features, plus some things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in this video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 5, the SNW Easy Shield 380. Do you have arthritis, weak hands, or scared of recoil? Well, then the SNW Easy Shield 380 ACP is for you. The easy in the title means something, and with the Shield Easy 380, it means the gun is easy to load, easy to rack, and easy to shoot. The SNW Easy Shield 380 is a striker fired 380 ACP designed for a space of shooters that's oft ignored. Non-issue is the best way to describe recoil with the Shield Easy 380. After the pew, the recoil is a slow roll that's in no way snappy or uncomfortable. The gun's large size and full-length grip make it easy to control and shoot. SNW designed the Easy 380 to be as easy to handle as possible. It's downright pleasant to shoot. Double taps, follow-up shots, and accurate shooting at ranges beyond bad breath are all accomplishable. The Shield Easy 380 is not a pocket pistol but it's easy to conceal and very easy to carry. It hides away without complaint and gives shooters a gun that's easy to control with both hands or even with a single hand. Thumbing in round after round into the magazine is rather easy as well. A small bar allows you to pull down the spring and follower as you load the gun. Racking is also quite easy, and the integrated grip safety helps reduce spring tensions as the weapon is racked. The Easy very much lives up to its name, and SNW is wise to make the gun so easy to shoot. Coming in at number 4, the Sig Sauer P238. The P238 is a small, handsome-looking gun, but don't ever think this shoots up peanuts. Despite its small bearing, this can totally stop someone from attacking you, assuming you have a good bullet placement. Actually, looking back at the popular 1911 handgun, this is more like it. But you'll be glad to know that among the best 380 pistols for concealed carry, this one is rare because of its all-metal construction. With a slide made of stainless steel and aluminum alloy frame, combine these metals and they weigh only 15.2 ounces. Take note that a gun with solid metal construction can hold up those extra recoils. As a single action pistol, the P238 has an exposed hammer, so a bit of cocking it and you're ready to fire with a small squeeze of its trigger. Safety wise, its slide lock is quite easy to handle, but won't hinder your draw or scratch your skin. You can carry this gun on IWB the whole day. Usually, it comes with the Siglite Night Sight, which already gives you an added advantage. With an overall length of 5.5 inches and with a barrel of 2.7 inches long, this could be enough to carry, though it could be a bit heavy on your side waist. While it can be the most solid, durable, and dependable 380 pistol out there, the P238 actually is a bit difficult to assemble and reassemble. And in case you forgot to put back the injector properly when reassembling it, you could ruin your gun once you fire it. Coming in at number three, the Car CW 380. Want something even smaller? Check out the Car CW. The Car CW is a great semi automatic 380 ACP pistol with a very smooth double action only trigger pull that reminds me of revolvers. Although the recoil is very snappy, it's small enough to go unnoticed, so it's perfect for concealed carry with the right holster. The smooth surfaces prevent sagging and doesn't print. Taking it down does require some tools and a helping hand. But once you get a hang of the disassembly process, there are loads of great recoil springs, triggers, grips, and aftermarket parts available on the market to make it sing. If you ask me, I wouldn't even replace the trigger. The overall accuracy around the 10-yard range is decent for a 2.5-inch barrel. Overall, the textured grip, slide lock mechanism, and smooth DAO trigger work perfectly together to skyrocket this small 380 on the handgun market. If you feel that the 380 ACP caliber isn't enough, there's also the 9mm model. Coming in at number two, 
the Ruger LCP Max Micro Compact 380 ACP Pistol. The LCP2 from Ruger is a quality firearm through and through, featuring a polymer frame and a reasonably long 2.75 inch barrel. This grants the weapon reasonable accuracy while still keeping it small enough to be used with the majority of concealed carry holsters. It's also incredibly affordable, typically found at prices around $299. The mag capacity is middling, and the LCP2 is well known for its durability and reliability, although the trigger pull tends to be long and heavy compared to other 380 pistols. However, it does facilitate a snag-free draw since it lacks sharp edges along its profile or by the grip. Thus, this pistol could be a great choice for you if you want something you can quickly draw in a tense situation without worrying about losing your grip on the gun. Coming in at number one, the Glock 42. Say what you want about Glock, but they make a reliable firearm. The Glock 42 is no different, and like most Glocks, it runs like an absolute clock. It eats through nearly any type of 380 ACP ammunition without being picky. From standard FMJs to well-designed defensive JHPs of varying weights and velocities, this simplistic design makes it easy to operate and far from confusing. Glock simply makes plug-and-play guns. The Glock 42 is a pocket pistol-sized firearm intended for concealed carry. The lightweight gun comes in at 12.17 ounces, and it can easily be carried in nearly any manner you choose. With the right holster, it's a safe and comfortable pocket pistol. With an IWB rig, it's as close to invisible as a gun can get. Heck, the gun is so small it disappears on an OWB rig. Small and light 380 ACPs are snappy and often painful to shoot and handle. With that being said, the Glock 42 isn't the smallest gun on the market, but it's a much easier shooting handgun because of it. Glock's little 380 found an excellent way to be easy to conceal carry while remaining easy to shoot. Like every other Glock on the market, the Glock 42 makes it easy to find holsters, triggers, aftermarket magazines, and beyond. Some things to know about the 380 ACP. First and foremost, Many people will recommend the 380 ACP handguns as an excellent option for new shooters because it's commonly believed that these guns have a relatively light recoil thanks to the smaller than average cartridge. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Most 380 ACP handguns are very small, often not even allowing a full three-fingered grip, and this is problematic for a few reasons. One, you have less real estate to hang onto the gun while it's recoiling, which can be a problem for those who already lack grip strength. Two, you have a much lighter firearm by the sheer fact of the smaller amount of material used, and thus you have less weight to counteract the recoil impulse, resulting in a snappier and more aggressive recoil. Combined, these two things make pocket carry 380 ACP guns a poor choice for new shooters, because you have a very difficult to shoot firearm that can be discouraging to learn with. Next, we have to talk about the idea that 380 ACP is insufficient in defensive scenarios. While it's true the 380 ACP is not as powerful as the 9mm, modern ballistics have improved to the point where even the humble 380 can be wielded effectively in a defensive scenario. No, it's not going to punch through car doors as easily as a 9mm, but at the average self-defense distance and in a reasonable situation, it'll do just fine against most two-legged predators. Of course, you should always carry something you have confidence in and shoot well with. In general, if you choose to carry a firearm chambered in 380, you should understand its limitations and be able to shoot it well. If you can do that, you'll be just fine carrying one. Starting in 2007, there's been a boom in production and sale of 380 pistols and the number of guns sold in 2014 even reached more than 850,000 units. In 2017, we can assume that the production has already reached more than a million, and this includes units sold and the ones on the market. This goes to show that the 380 has become a dependable and reliable as a concealable weapon for self-defense. Let us know in the comments which model works best for you and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.